After spending some time refining our own adventure rig, being the Jimny and the Genie combo, which we've covered on a few videos on this channel already, and with some test camps under our belts, we decided it was time to embark on an extended adventure. We grabbed a map and had a look. An area that we had never been before and were keen to explore was the Khalakhadi Transfrontier National Park, up in the north. A little piece of South Africa sandwiched between Namibia and Botswana. We decided to break the trip up into two parts, the first being the long drive north and with a stopover near Britstown and onto the Hrabis Falls National Park to take in the Hrabis Falls and a look around the national park itself. Thereafter, a stay along the Orange River at a camp called Kamkiri and a day visit to Rimfasmark to see what it was all about and to hopefully meet Norbert from Footspura fame. The second part would then be the adventure into the South African side of the Khalakhadi Park. This trip took place over December 2022 to January 2023 at probably the hottest time of the year where daily temps can easily reach the 40 plus degree mark. This would be a real test of our setup, not only our fridges and our water carrying ability, but the general day to day use of both the Jimny and the Genie together. Come along for the ride, see how we fared. Roydam was an ideal stopover spot where we camped very comfortably under some lovely shade trees. This really is an oasis in the central Karoo. Accompanying us on this adventure were friends with their Pajero and road tripper Teardrop Trailer. This too would be their first long distance trip with their adventure rig. Entering the Northern Cape brought with it the numerous sociable weavers' nests, almost like sculptures in the landscape. These community nests are spectacular structures built on almost any tall object. Passing Uppington not only does the landscape change, but also the appearance of the KHI Solar One. It is the first thermal solar tower plant in Africa, producing 50 megawatts of power. Excitement was building as we entered the Hrabis National Park. We were arriving on a peak flow day, which doesn't happen often. We could hear and feel the mist from the falls as we approached. Starting at the lower observation decks, we moved upstream, with the middle decks being the wettest. Getting drenched on a boiling hot day was certainly not the worst experience. To say we were mind blown by this sheer force of nature and the magnitude of these falls would have been an understatement. This was definitely a bucket list item for all of us.
After seeing the falls at sunrise, which is an advantage of staying in the park overnight, we set out to explore the other viewpoints and places of interest within the park. Windfuss Mark is the home of a previously displaced community 
who were allowed to return to their ancestral land in 1997 after a successful land claim. Well known for its hot springs, we found the drive down and the scenery just as worthwhile a visit. We did not record much at the hot springs as we did not want to intrude on the privacy of the individuals enjoying the experience. And yes, we did get to meet Norbert at his Bergendal coffee shop. We enjoyed a condensed milk coffee with Rusterbrot and wrote on his wall. If you're in the area, please support the community. Look out for part 2 of the series to see how we fared in the Galagadi. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.